Birth of a Nation writer, director, and star Nate Parker is under fire some 17 years after being found innocent of a rape accusation while in college at Penn State University. The charges against the 36-year-old Parker have been conveniently brought up as he prepares to release one of the most anticipated movies of the year in his Nat Turner biography adaptation, which of course won Sundance. Parker stated, I stand here, a 36-year-old man, 17 years removed from one of the most painful moments in my life, and I can imagine it was painful for everyone. I was cleared of everything, of all charges. I've done a lot of living and raised a lot of children. I've got five daughters and a lovely wife. He continued on, I will not relive that period of my life every time I go under the microscope. Now Fox Searchlight, who bankrolled the film for $17.5 million after received success on the indie film circuit, is allegedly in a panic and the film's release date is thought to be up in the air. This all comes 17 years and 24 films later. Parker is now having to address a part of his past that would really only make sense had he been found guilty of the crime of which he stood accused. Now this attempt at railroading of Nate only says one thing to me, that Birth of a Nation is absolutely brilliant and some folks out there are afraid of its potential impact on people who look and sound like me. Cause I swear, I really don't recall Woody Allen having this much of an issue when he wanted to put out his movies. Will Nate Parker's 17 year old case, in which he was found innocent of all charges, stop you from seeing Birth of a Nation? Let us know by dropping a comment below or tweeting us with the hashtag BET Breaks. And for all things relevant in sports, music, and the culture, keep it locked to BET.com. I'm Rodney Rakai for BET Breaks.